Okay, I am recording this on, as you can see here, Wednesday, January 27th, um, 2016, time is 11.42 p.m., and this is from uh, time.gov. Let me refresh this section here, and you can see that the time now is 11.42 p.m., Wednesday, January 27th, 2016, Central Time. Um, I have pulled up a, uh, our, a Facebook page of Tulsa Panorama, which is one of the uh, web um, brands that we have. It's a previous brand, but still. Um, we now today have received 55 one-star reviews from uh, people that we've never done business with. Um, so if you go in, I'll just scroll down here so you can see, 40 minutes ago, 41 minutes ago, 43 minutes ago. So every about one or two minutes, um, someone from somewhere is uh, putting a um, you know, basically a crappy comment on here. So if you go in and look at it, Anika, if you go into the About section, uh, oh, lives in Alaska. We don't do business in Alaska. Let's go back over here. Let's go over here to Antonita. Um, that's funny. She lives in Alaska, too, in Anchorage. And we're a um, uh, basically a virtual tour uh, business, and you can easily see. So, um, basically showing you how you know just for you know a few dollars you can go in and put negative reviews on someone's account by using a service like Fiverr or something like that. However, uh, since we did file a harassment report with the Tulsa Police, um, this is follow can be followed up with the district attorney's office in the area um, that you're having issues. Uh, with the person, and um, you can actually put a restraining order against the other people. And if this happens again, you can actually get them sent to jail, which is what we're going to uh, attempt to do here. Um, anyway, here's Desiree Doris. Let's see where she's from. Huh. Alaska Pacific University from Anchorage, Alaska, too. Interesting. I guess Anchorage is a pretty popular place for scammers. Um Funny thing is I've never been to Alaska. And okay, here's one forty six minutes ago. Another one that was made up. University of Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. And it just goes on and on. So let's just go down all the list. Um, okay. Page. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, University of Commonwealth of Virginia. Sarah, where is she from? Juneau, Alaska, Seventh-day Adventist. Wow, Christians getting into spamming. Okay, Sharon Lindsay. Corpus Christi, Texas, Del Mar College. So it's interesting, they have about three pictures, they had about one friend from somewhere, and there's really no other information. Uh, let's see here. Sharon, Zenobai, Alaska, Butte, Alaska. And all of these people are self-employed. Interesting. That person looked like she was 17. Um, let's go to Aja Gwenny. That's a... That's a picture of a video that was taken from somewhere. Oh, Anchorage, Alaska for that one too. Pacific, Alaska Pacific College. Indiana, Alaska. Harvard, oh wow, so she went to Harvard University and she lives in Indiana. Interesting. Officer at a butterfly manufacturing company because she went to Harvard. Interesting. Okay, Barbara Zora, Anchorage, Alaska, Alaska Pacific University. Very interesting. Buffy, B. 
Butte, Montana, University of whatever. Okay. So I guess it's really easy to go out there and build fake Facebook profiles, throw a couple of pictures in there, and then go in and utilize it as a throwaway account. Um, you can actually report it to Facebook, but they're not very good at responding to any of this stuff. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska again. Oh, we just did that one. Delory. So you can see one star, one star, one star, one star, all the way down every one of these. And what ends up happening is it adds up to your overall uh, star reviews on the left-hand side, which can affect your uh, customer. You can spend years building up you know, good, valid listings and have somebody come in and uh, destroy your uh, profiles in, the, in the just a little bit of time. So, we have 44 notifications. So it's 11:48. So at 11:01, 11 o'clock, 10:58, 10:57, 10:56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 52, 51, 50. So what happens is these services use some sort of a online uh, deal to go in and automatically do this. So 1052, 1051, 1050, 1049, 1048, 1046, 1045, 1044, 1043, 1040. Another 1040, 1038, 1038, 1036, 1035, 1021, 1020, 1019, 1019, 1004, 1003, 1002, 1001, 10, 959, 958, 957, 955, 952, 951, 950, 949, 848, 946. So that's... Um, just from tonight, that's not including the uh, about 15 I had to actually work on uh, this morning. So what you have to do to get um, these uh, kind of removed from your visibility is, and it doesn't actually remove it from your um, overall reviews, so what you have to do is you go in, you click here, and um, actually you have to go to the person. You have to click up here, and then you have to report, and then you have to uh, report the profile. You, and I do have a police report for harassment and uh, slander. Um, they're basically sharing inappropriate or offensive posts. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and hit continue. You select other for other type of content, which under the community standards link that Facebook has, um, we have actually had, this is basically under bullying and harassments, uh, basically individual or images altered to degrade private individuals, sharing information, blackmailing people, harassing people, repeatedly targeting people for a want of friend requests or messages, um, and so on. So Facebook says that they don't allow toler uh, bullying, bullying or harassment. Um, and so anyway, they, I did get them removed off my page, but they didn't remove the, um, the uh, reviews. So let's see. First thing you do is you submit it to Facebook for review. Then you block the person, and you hit block. Then you hide all of it uh, from them, and then you hit done. And then Anika, which says the content is no longer available. If you go back, Anika's stuff will actually be gone. And then you have to do that again with the next person. So you go into their profile, you come up here, hit report, uh, report this profile, sharing an offensive or uh, inappropriate or offensive post, hit continue, hit other. Continue, submitted for review, block them, hide all, hide, and done. So the bottom line is just wastes time to do all of this kind of stuff. So um, I recommend you put together a, um, you know, contact your local police if you have to, file a harassment a charge against them, uh, put a, a um, 
police report on file. Once you have that on file, then you can actually submit the police report to Facebook if necessary, uh, and then to local law enforcement in that area uh, for following up on uh, you know, defamation of character, slander, um, and harassment. And then you can actually put a, uh, um, what do you call it, restraining order on the person. If they do it again, um, you, you notify the police in that area. You show them the copy of uh, the harassment again, and they will go down and arrest that person. So, oh, there's another one. Oh, look at that, a few seconds ago. So I've got another one here from... Uh, let's see, where'd he go? Just now. Alaska, Wisconsin. They like the word Alaska a lot, self-employed. And uh, currently works in London. Hmm. Those don't add up. Report. Report the profile. Sharing inappropriate information and so on. But I'm actually going to leave these up. Um, just to take other screenshots and then submit them to law enforcement. So anyway, hope that helps you. If you're having the same issues, go on, and you have a great day.